Hi, y'all. We just wanted to say welcome to Trippin' with Dave, episode five. I'm Becky. And I'm Travis. And we are grateful that you've been watching our fun little vlogs. We are now in our third month of owning Dave. Anything you want to add to that? What do you think about this adventure? I'm not Dave. Dave is our camper. <laughs> Ludwig van Podrick, we call him Dave for short. But we're having a great time, and we're still really, really grateful to the Adamsons from Bryan, Texas, for selling Dave to us and also teaching us how to camp in a camper. And we hope you enjoy Trippin' with Dave, episode five. See you soon. Okay, welcome to Trippin' with Dave, episode five. We are heading into what Travis calls our home park, Huntsville State Park. Um, it's only 45 minutes from our house in College Station, so it's probably the state park that we've been to the most. And as you can see, it's really pretty. We've stayed at this park, we've camped at this park, I guess, maybe four or five times. Yep. But this is our first time to bring the R-Pod, so. We've already been, we dropped off Dave, we set up everything, relaxed a little, and then we went into Huntsville, which is just, we're really in Huntsville, we're just a few minutes away, uh, to the grocery store to pick up a few things that we forgot. So we'll show you um, the route to our campsite. Um, we also have Penny the dog with us, and Travis is our trusty driver. Not only was Huntsville the place we've been the most before, uh, you know, tent camping, but it was also the first place that Becky ever camped. And of course, the first place we ever camped as a couple. We stayed in a little air conditioned shelter, so it wasn't exactly camping, but I think it counts. And we most recently camped here back in February. We ran the Love Run Half Marathon, which is a great race, always for a really good cause. And we stayed in a, a little shelter and we tent camped, and it was our last tent camping. Um, so we kind of celebrated because we knew at that point we were likely going to be buying a camper soon. So we kind of celebrated, hey, this may be the last time we do this. So it looks like we may be waiting a while to go in. Um, so we will pick back up with another video to show you us getting to our campsite. Okay, so we made it through the gate. Um, a lot of state parks have a separate lane for the um, people who have already checked in. This one does not, but she did happen to come out and just see our tag and wave us through the employee lane. So we're heading to our campsite. So straight, if you went straight, you would go to the Prairie Branch website, uh, website campsite, and um, the lodge. So we're actually staying in the Raven Hill, I believe, um, campground over here that has full hookups. So we got here kind of early, and we got our pick. The first one I picked just looking at a map and also looking at some pictures that had in a photo album was not so great and um, so we moved to another one and were able to just call up to the front and say hey can we switch to this one and so we did. So you can see this is a beautiful park. It's one of our favorites. We're East Texas people and it's definitely East Texas Piney Woods. Also Penny loves it because the place we found her on the side of the road was just 30 minutes or so from here. So she feels like this is her home stomping grounds. Okay, so heading to our campsites. You can see the campsites are numbered. Some of them are obviously still available. It's going to be really hot this weekend, so I don't expect that it will be full here. It's a nice one. This Raven Hill, the advantage of it, if you are if you have a RV of some sort, is they're all pull throughs and they're full hookups. But it's kind of further away from the lake. You can see the lake out there just a little bit through the trees, get a little glimpse of it, um, but it's not as close to the lake as some of the other ones. So you can see all the big RVs, and there's Dave! It's filled up just since we left. Yeah, there are a lot the more <laughs> sites that are full than when we left. Okay, so we are in spot 21 at the Raven Hill campsite. 
Huntsville State Park. Tripping with Dave, number five. I know, but I wanna go home. I got to go home. Let me go home. Good morning from Huntsville State Park. We're on a little hike through the woods. There are lots of trails out here at Huntsville. Some short, some pretty long hikes um, where you can actually hook into the Sam Houston National Forest and hike for 20, 30 miles or so. We're not gonna do that, but you could if you wanted to. Um, and as you can tell, it's really pretty. So we're on our hike early this morning try to get out before the heat of the day kicks in get a little exercise so if you like outdoors hiking and mountain biking this is a great place to do that this was not your dream but you always believed in me another winter day has come and gone away in either Paris or Rome and I want to go home let me go home And I'm surrounded by a million people I still So we're getting ready to check out of our spot at uh, Huntsville State Park and you can see Travis is doing the most fun part of RVing which is emptying the gray and black tank so you know don't think this is all fun and games it is all fun and games until you have to empty the poop uh, then it's not that fun anymore, but he's kind of gotten it down to a fine science. Travis, you have any pieces of advice? If you've got one of these hookups like we do, make sure you know what comes off and what doesn't. <laughs> our, first, uh, our first time doing this, I failed to do that, and I thought the wrong thing came off of this part of the hose right here. This detaches, this doesn't. I took it off of that, and it was a, it was a big mess in there. Everyone tells us that at least once we will have poop explode in our face, but so far so good. So um, we're hoping that things continue to go well as far as that goes. Um, these sites that we're in have full hookups. So you can see what that means is that it has water and electricity and also sewer. Um, if your sites don't have sewer, then there typically is some sort of dump station um, that you can use. That's for everyone who is not at a site that has sewer. Um, once we're finished draining the tanks, um, I will go in and put what's called Happy Camper um, in the toilet. And this time we're actually also going to put some in the sink for the gray water tank because it's going to be about a month before we actually get to take Dave out again. So we want to make sure everything's deodorized and sanitized. Um, then we will fill that with water and run it through one more time just to make every, sure everything's tidy and we don't get any weird odors while we're gone. Anything else you want to mention, advice? Uh, make sure you're going downhill. We actually changed spots today. We were across the street, but we were going to be going uphill. I didn't see that was going to drain very well. So uh, the people across the street from us had already left, so we switched sides so we could drain downhill. And also notice Travis is wearing gloves. You never ever want to touch the sewer hose with bare hands. Um, you know, just keep yourself clean. Oh, guys, we'll know this, but uh, always drain your blank, black tank first. That's the, the bad stuff. Then uh, once that's drained, then you can drain your gray tank. And then the cleaner water, matter of fact, a lot of times it'll be soapy you'll see coming through there from your dishwashing and shower and all that. Then that'll clean out this hose somewhat. If you do it the other way around, then your hose that you carry around with you and hook up with you, with you is going to be pretty nasty. Yuck. That's a lot cleaner water coming out of that one that came out of the one just a second ago. So, you know, it's really the only downside, but it's nice to have your own bathroom and this is worth it. It's worth it for me anyway, because I don't have to do this part. So, this is the end of our adventure at Huntsville State Park. It's been a great time. It was really hot this weekend, but we definitely still had a great time. Um, just relaxing. You can kind of get a little glimpse of the lake out there. Um, so, the next time we will see you for Trippin' with Dave, episode six will be in a month or so when we take our first multi-day adventure 10 days actually so we'll see you then happy summer
Let me go home.